Hello everyone, this is Douglas Grant with Neighbors Real Estate Group and Neighbors Homes and Community Video Series. Today we're with Battalion Chief Ronnie Cropper at the Fire Station 1 in Bella Vista. We wanted to talk about the use of a fire extinguisher and how to properly use it. So the first thing to remember is the acronym, which is PASS. So P-A-S-S. -S. And what that stands for is pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. So this is a typical ABC fire extinguisher. It's what you're gonna have in your home. Uh, this is the type that you buy at Lowe's or Walmart. Um, they come in different sizes, um, but they're all gonna have the same, basically the same contents. Um, it's a powder extinguisher. These are good for uh, grease fires, any type of uh, combustible material that you find in your home, um, you can put out with this. So uh, first thing I like to say is if it's, a, if it's a fire in your kitchen or a fire in your home, and you think that you can put it out with a fire extinguisher, Go ahead and give it a shot. If you're not making progress, get out of the house, call 911. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but these are these are great to have around. Um, kitchen, like we talked about, garage, back deck where your barbecue grill is, um, anywhere you think you need them. So what we tell people, uh, a good way to remember how to use one is the acronym PASS. Like you said, so it's pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. PASS. And I'm gonna demonstrate real quick, it's really easy. Um, all these fire extinguishers come with a little tag that hooks to a pin. Um, and that's just to keep the pin in place to keep somebody from accidentally discharging it. Um, what you do is you want to pull the pin, so that's the pull. Then you want to take your nozzle and you want to aim it at the base of the fire. So right at the bottom of the fire where the debris is or where the grease is, you want to put it right at the base of it. Then you want to aim, squeeze the trigger. And by doing that, you just push down with your hand. It, it squeezes fairly easy. Um, and then you want to sweep from side to side, so at the base of the fire. So pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. Um, like I said, do it, give it a good shot. If it's working, go ahead and put it out, call the fire department. If it's not working, put it down, leave your home, call 911, and, and we'll come put it out. The great information is probably not a bad idea, even if you do put it out to perhaps call the fire department. Absolutely. Have them come just to check it out. Absolutely. We have had homes in the past where um, somebody had a fire in the kitchen mm -hmm. um, or in the garage. They thought they had it out. Um, they didn't. It rekindled and burned the house down. So it's, a, it's always a good idea if you have a fire, if it's in the oven, if it's in wherever, um, and you think you have it out, call us anyway. There could be electrical components that got burnt in the fire, especially if it involves a metadata or a microwave. Right. Um, so we do need to kind of inspect that and make sure they're everything's safe. Uh, don't worry, you guys. Right. So, well, we want to thank Battalion Chief Cropper and, of course, Chief Steve Sims and all the men and women of the Bella Vista Fire Department. We're glad you're here uh, taking care of us. And uh, everybody out there, be safe until we meet again. So you buy one of these and you have it in your home, how long should the should it be good? So, every one of these fire extinguishers come with the manufacturer's um, advisement on how long to keep it when you need to replace it. Um, like we talked about earlier, even if it's good for several years, you still need to maintain it. And by doing that, you upside down, kind of get that powder shaken right. up in there. Um, it's it's just basically baking powder in here, so it's non toxic. If you spray it, you can breathe it. It's it's not going to hurt you. Um, if you do have some type of respiratory problems, it, it could irritate, but other than that, it's, it's perfectly safe to use. Um, I notice this one has a dial on it that tells you when it's discharged, yeah. still, still so, charged. Yes, so this is your discharge meter. It tells you when it's charged, it's in the green. When it's discharged, it'll go to the red. Um, it's a little bit deceiving because if you do discharge this and it's just a little bit, maybe you just want to test it out and see what it does, you have to replace it. So anytime it's discharged, it's it loses its kick. It will, yeah, because it pump. There's a little CO canister in here. Okay. When you push down that lever, it punctures it. So once that's punctured, it's not going to maintain this pressure. So even though it still says green, when you put it back up under your cabinet, it's going to slowly leak off pressure. And then when it comes time that you need it, it's it's not going to do anything. So never puncture it unless you're going to use it. And once you use it, you have to replace it. And, and another thing that I do in my home, wherever you put this leave it there. Don't put it someplace else because someone in the family may not know that you moved it. So if everybody knows it's under the sink, leave it under the sink. Sure. Yeah, and I always uh, tell them to leave this tab in place. Um, they break really easy. It's not 
it's not gonna be an issue whenever you have to go use it. So don't be worried you're gonna break the tab and cut it off previous because that tab also tells you that it's never been used. Okay. So that's a good indicator that nobody sprayed it. Everything's good, got the tab, got the pull pin. Um, so that way you know that it's good to go. All right, okay. very good. What's a good phone number for the residents to call here non-emergency if they have a question about fire safety or their smoke detectors, fire extinguishers, anything like that? Sure, um, our station one number is 855-8249. Um, it's manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So um, if you have an issue, if you need to, you know, if you, if you can't get to your smoke detector and change the battery, we're happy to come out and, and do that for you. Right. Um, we can inspect them for you. Just, just really whatever, whatever the community needs, we can, we can handle it. Well, County Chief Cropper, we thank you very much for being with us today. Folks, we thank you for being with us. Until we meet again, stay safe and remember fire safety 52 weeks a year.